Okay, here's the deal. My wife does not love backpacking. So when taking her on a trip, there's a few boxes that I need to check. First, no set schedule. When she's done hiking, I wanna be done hiking so that she enjoys the trip. Number two, cool trail features like waterfalls and or what we found at the end of this trip and the third box, the most amazing view that you could possibly see. And that's what we had. So you may ask, how do you find trails like that? I use an app called All Trails. All Trails is not the greatest app out there, but it's fantastic for finding different types of trails and it's got filters like loops, waterfalls, views. So I love being able to use All Trails to help me find new trails, but then I use apps like Gaia to do my navigation. So we headed to Alabama. Day one, we headed out and we went ahead and knocked out three different trails. We were on the Cave Creek Trail, which had an amazing rock view. And then it put us on the Nubbin Trail. And then we ended up on the Odom Trail. The Odom Trail brought us to the crossroads. The crossroads are the Penhody and the Ch Silent Chinope Trail. That's hard to say. Say that three different times. Silent Chinope Trail. Silent Chinope Trail. <laughs> say I can't do it. All right. But that was a perfect place for us to set up camp. And I had some new gear that I was playing with. Up to this point, I've always been a hammock camper. But being with my wife, we wanted to get a tent and a dual person sleeping setup. And that's where we spent the first night and it was a beautiful campsite. Hey guys, before we continue, I need you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button and I need you to hit that notification bell before I fall out of this tree and so that you can see more content just like this. We'll see you guys on the trail. So day two, we headed out on the Chinope Silent Trail and there are two beautiful, amazing waterfalls on that trail. The first one that you're gonna come to is the Chiha Falls. Both of them have swimming holes, places that you can relax and swim while you're out there, which is fantastic during the summer. The second one you come across on the same day, Devil's Den Falls. We stopped at both of them, spent over an hour hanging out, swimming. <laughs> How does that feel? And just really enjoying our time out there. And then once we left Devil's Den, we headed out into the woods and found a place to camp for night two. Day three, we had two big obstacles to overcome. First and foremost, the stairway to heaven. We had heard about this thing. It was a big, huge rock climb there that we were gonna have to tackle. However, I still suck at hiking and my battery bank wasn't charged and we got zero footage. My phone died, we couldn't charge anything. So, here's some beautiful stock footage of what that would actually look like. Now, once we got to camp, this is where we got to the most beautiful, amazing view in Alabama, and it's called McDill Point. We set up our tent, we were the only ones there. I had my solar charger battery bank, I set it out on the cliff, and I got just enough battery to be able to shoot and show you guys this amazing view. Now on the way out, on McDill Point, you will see that there is a mysterious airplane crash. There's a story that you can read all about the airplane crash. They've left the wreckage out there in the woods for all of these years as kind of like a place to see when you're out there. And so that's a really cool feature. And then we hiked out the Penhody Trail back to the car and saw even more amazing views. Day three was full of the most amazing views that I wish I could show you, but again, the camera was dead. Now, when we got back to the car, we loaded everything up and we were headed back home. It was an amazing trip. My wife had an amazing time. <laughs> Watch where you're going. You'll make a blooper reel. Even though she's not in love with backpacking, when I plan trips like that for her, she's willing to come along and that view paid off for the entire trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed that trip because we're gonna be releasing a lot more of these hikes that I'm out there doing and I want you guys to learn from all of my mistakes like make sure you charge your battery bank before you go on a hike and we'll see you guys on the next one.